It's harvest time in the southeastern part of India's Rajasthan state. Farmers cut mustard plants, one of the few crops that grow on such dry lands. For Mohan Shadari and his family, mustard plants mean financial security. The mustard needs one week to dry before it can be threshed. Harvest waste, mostly husks and stalks, are loaded onto trucks. Not too long ago, farmers burned this waste on their fields. But today, Anand Chopra, who works for a power company, buys the remains. Six years ago, he helped build a biomass plant. Mustard seeds, which will later be made into cooking oil, aren't useful here. Chopra wants to use the waste as fuel for his plant over the coming months. We are buying agro waste so that we can generate power. There should be a good quantity of power available and it should generate employment here in this area. This could mean more work for Mohan Shadari. Like most farmers in the area, he delivers his waste to the plant himself. But others use an aggregator, which saves time and gas. All told, there are around 5,000 farmers within a 50-kilometer radius. Chadari receives his money right after the delivery is weighed. I used to earn 100,000 rupees annually from the mustard, but now I earn 40% more selling the remains. Using biomass instead of coal means cleaner energy. But the work itself is dirty. Masks do little to protect from dust that can irritate the lungs. Burning farm waste releases the same amount of carbon dioxide that the mustard plants took in while growing. Since the plant no longer needs coal, it will save an estimated 36,000 tons of CO2 emissions annually. Gases which are, which are not environment friendly are, even if emitted to the atmosphere, are of a very, very low level. Turbines make electricity possible. Using water pressure, they create 8 megawatts of electricity, enough to power 40,000 households. The biomass plant works for all stakeholders. It supplies clean energy while benefiting the environment, the plant owners, and the mustard growers of Rajasthan.